But first, the women's basketball coach at Cal is speaking out after an alleged racially insensitive incident involving her and her son. It is Tuesday, May 29th. I'm Kenny Choi. And I'm Michelle Griego. KPIX 5's Jessica Flores is at Oakland International Airport with details. Jessica? Hey, good morning, guys. Well, that coach says that she was trying to return to the Bay Area here to Oakland International Airport. That's where she was headed when a Southwest employee questioned her son and asked if her son was indeed her son. She says that the Southwest employee didn't believe her baby was her son because of the color of his skin. Now, Coach Lindsay Gottlieb says the Southwest employee asked for her biracial son's birth certificate and claimed it was the law. It happened at the Denver, Colorado airport as she was trying to return home. She tweeted, I'm appalled that after approximately 50 times flying with my one year old son, ticket counter personnel told me I had to. To prove that he was my son despite having his passport. She said, because we have different last names, my guess is because he has a different skin color. Now, Southwest released this statement last night saying, We have engaged with the customer directly to address her concerns. Our employees are well regarded for their hospitality, and we always strive for the best experience for anyone who entrusts us with their travel. Gottlieb says she wanted to speak out to prevent the next family from being unfairly questioned. I'm emotionally sort of drained from it, and this is one day in my life, and it's not normal for me. Um, I don't face these type of situations where maybe um, there isn't the most type of uh, social consciousness, and I, I, it's one day for me, and I know people sort of experience things like this every single day, which is why I, I reached out to Southwest and I said, hey, this isn't okay. Every airline has their own policies for babies flying. According to Southwest Airlines website, proof of age is required for babies, which could be a birth certificate or other forms of identification like a passport. There's no federal law requiring the baby's birth certificate for domestic flights. Now, Gottlieb says she appreciates that Southwest reached out to her and spoke directly to her about this incident. Reporting live in Oakland, I'm Jessica Flores, KPIX 5.